Hey guys, it's Allison. It's actually nighttime, but I have good lighting in my room. I'm kind of sick today. I don't feel good. I don't look good. But um, since I have time, I would like to practice a few makeup looks. And actually, I'm going to recreate one of Miss Fame's look. Miss Fame, if you don't know, is a famous, fame, <laughs> famous drag queen. And he is gorgeous. So I am going to be following oh, a couple of his tutorials. Not that I need to do drag, but you know these eyebrows really aren't worth much of anything at all. So I am going to begin with his extreme seduction tutorial. And really that's just for the eyebrow part and then the actual like uh, eyeshadow makeup look will be um, a different one which I'll get to next. Oh, so without further ado if you want to watch me try and follow this fame video keep watching. He starts by putting his <laughs> like no eyebrow hairs. It's kind of sad really. I know he does this like circular inward motion to go against the grain of the hair and I believe he also like combs the hair up so let's see what he styles it's not cracking my eyes it's loose powder so I glued him up and set him with loose powder just like Miss Fame said to do I think this one is probably going to be a little more textured or crusty because I think I let it dry too quickly before combing it. This one might do better. Guess we'll find out. Maybe it'll help to not hold the camera down there. I know you want to watch my mouth as I talk. He said to use a full cover foundation stick like Kryolan. Well, I don't have that. I have a Lancome Tint Idol makeup stick, whatever. I can't even say that name right. And it doesn't look right. His looks way better and way smoother. He said to use a beauty sponge or beauty blender, or whatever, to dab that in and then reset with loose powder. That's what I did. So he says now that he has a blank canvas after priming his eyelids that he draws himself a new eye line. I guess he means, you know, a socket line. And he does that and then pulls it up from here. Then he says he'll smudge it out with some, um, uh, with a smudgy brush or something. He uses some Mac whatever. I'm using a Mac Prunella. Well, I think it's looking good so far. What do you think? <laughs> Gosh. There, I softened the line out too. Now he's using different colors to get like a cool purplish smoky edge. Think I'm, think I'm still killing it with it. Yeah, how's this look? It's cool, purplish, and smoky. Well, so far I think it looks pretty decent. And he has started on his foundation already. And he does highlights and contours. He didn't do anything underneath his eyes. But, oh, you see I put some shimmery sparkles here. And then I added a definition to that part. That one of two cut creases. This is supposed to be like a white highlight color. I'll show you here. If you have a strong beard, you're gonna need to Mine's similar, right? Okay, this is the face so far. I got it so contoured, even on my jawline. Only falling along. Oh, and you know what he said? He said, you know, if you don't have as much space to work with, you know, if you have a small face like me, so you don't need to go overboard on contouring. And I'll just tell you one little tip that I use on my own. This is my hack, and I better patent it before anybody tries to steal it. But what I did was I used a small brush like this. It's a soft bullet brush. And that's how I do the sides of my nose and add extra definition to my cheekbones. You're welcome. Oh, now it's time for the brow. That's my favorite part. Woohoo! Let's see how this works on my tiny little forehead with like zero space to my side temple burns, whatever areas. Okay, now with the eyebrows on, I'm really, really getting that look accomplished. 
especially since you can't see my real brows. Can't wait to put on false lashes and lip stack. Be all done. So I didn't feel like doing eyelashes or bottom liner or anything, and I tried to make a few beauty marks, but it didn't look right. You know, I was trying to actually cover some spots that showed through their natural on my skin. I have a teensy tiny almost invisible mole here, so I did make a real beauty mark there, just tracing over what I already have. In fact, I have a tiny little mole here too, but my beautiful eyebrows covering it up. I mean, I should show it off. Oh, do you like my lipstick? It's beautiful. I chose just the right color, you see. So, here is me looking like a beautiful snatched drag queen, a la Miss Fame. Thank you, Miss Fame. Now, do you want to actually come over to my house and do my makeup for real? Because I think it would turn out much, much better than this. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, this is so much fun, and I can't wait to do it again, but in a different way, or maybe never again, sound off below. Ooh, I love how yellow this lipstick makes my teeth look. <laughs>